Hi, Mark Savage here. Unusually, a very short video. 501 bulbs. These tiny little things. A real bugbear of mine is when you get HID or LED lights on your car, they're really white. And the side lights can be that, well, horrible five watt crappy yellow. I'll get an example on this Mini now. And there they are, absolutely crap. However, how much nicer does that look? Crap. Nice. Crap. Nice. So, a few pounds from eBay, and these are generally just massive. I've seen small ones, but that's what you get. As long as the base fit, which is that bit there, is the same, they fit in. I mean, they are big, much bigger than I thought they were going to be, but they fit in. Now, obviously, when doing a BMW, it's this little port here, and they tell you to take the wheel off or jack the car up. But I've just found that if you turn the other way lock, the wheel the other way, you can then just get this off in one. There you go. You get to your bulb. So, this one next. How easy is that? Get with your crappy little bulb and put a nice set of 501s in there off eBay. Remember to get the error free ones, okay? You've got to be cannabis error. Cannabis. You've got to be cannabis error free. Big tip when you do put them in, try them because no matter how many times I do it, I always find I've got to take them back out again and put them in. I keep finding that I always get it the wrong way. So put them in that way then put them back in that way. They will fit, work really well. Very impressed, and don't get that yellowy look. Next will be the registration lights for the rear as well and so on, but it's a good start for not a lot of money. Cut the three quid. That's my top tip for a windy day. Carrying on my little mini. It's starting to look quite nice, you know. Anyway, nice simple one, let's get on with it. Have a quick look on my motorbike, actually. I put one in there. Now, very dirty, but it does stand out really well in there. But watch this. Kapow! I mean, you know what I mean? That is just so bright in there. Um, it shines the whole thing up at night. I'm really impressed. And having these white ones down the side here as well. It looks so much better than that crappy yellow bulb. So you've changed your 501s. And you've gone from these old things to new ones. The brightness and the quality of the light is so much better and it makes the car look a lot more modern. So you might as well do your rear bulbs. Registration ones. Generally, I say generally, they're probably the easiest one to actually change in your car because they're made from on the exterior as it were. So you're basically just gonna need one screwdriver that are all located and they generally pop out and you can replace them. Easy as that. Little screwdriver, just push it in there, push it out and it comes out and they go back in that way. Screwdriver and just pop down. Can you see how black or blackening that is? So it was a dull light anyway. And the new one, perfect. Now there's lots of different sizes, three or four different sizes I believe. So I would take out the old one, measure it before buying the new. Because if it doesn't fit, you've just wasted your cut the quid, haven't you? I've got six of these ones, um, about a fiver, not bad at all. Now, you notice that these are only one side. So you're gonna have to gently push them up, though, screwdriver, gently push them up in the hole. And then we can have a look at the difference you're gonna see. On a side note, if you have watched my last videos, you've noticed that I've striped the car up. Now, I know it's a racy little car, and I haven't drove one of these for a while, and the wife gets it on the S1. Um, went up to Western Super yesterday, 
and we drove down the M4. I was getting racy people come racing right up my arse, and I was doing the speed limit ish. Um, and I had lots of people racing right up my arse, wanting to play, wanting to race. And I'm thinking, no, not in the mood for it, really. You know, three hour drive, thank you. So, yeah, if you do up start grading your car with a better exhaust system, a bit more flashier, you will get people out there who just want to play. So, word for warning, really. Right, let's pop this one in, and let's show you what it looks like before and after. And I can do that because there's two in here. <sighs> Getting old, can't bloody see. Hmm. Because they're flat, I don't want to push too much. Um, made that probably a harder job than it needed to be. Let's just pop this one off, and then I can show you what the old bulb and the new bulb looks like. So have the yellowy looking and the brand new LED. You can see a massive difference. That looks a lot, lot nicer. We shunt it back very nicely. It just makes the whole car look a lot more modern. Well, to me, side lights, yeah, I can look at these ones as well and see if I can upgrade them maybe to LED and keep upgrading. Set the light in the car as well, one of them will fit in there. You can buy kits nowadays. Um, it's just a lot better, you know, you're not using 5 watt, you're using 1 watt, so you're not using as much power, etc. Not that a car really has to worry about that as much as a motorbike maybe. But definitely for me, I'm happy with that. Right, get on with it and uh, get back to that a little bit. Different place on different cars. Um, BMW 1 Series is the same sort of. A lot of BMW now are under the wheel arch Fords. You're just gonna have to yank them out. But you know what? Such minimal money for the best look. To be honest with you, it's nice, isn't it? Normally it's loads of money. And then you change yours for LEDs if you're allowed to, or HIDs, or just them um, 30% wire bulbs. The whole car transforms and looks a lot more modern. So that's my top tip anyway. There's the bike, there's the car, short video. Check out my videos on my channel, there's loads of helpful advice. Ta-da guys.